Starting with QuickBooks 2008-2009, there is a change to the way that financial information in your company file is stored and retrieved. This new storage system, or database system, gives a more powerful, safe and secure way to keep your financial information. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how that will impact your business and some of the decisions you may have to make when setting this up to get the most benefit from the improvements to power and stability in the database. This has particular relevance if you're using QuickBooks with multiple users over a network. The new system installs a new application called the QuickBooks Database Server Manager. This application acts like a gatekeeper to the QuickBooks company file, controlling requests from remote users to retrieve, add or update information in your company file. This new application should be installed on the machine or machines that you have your company file located on. I'm now going to run through three ways that you can QuickBooks can be set up on your company network. The first way is as a single user. In this scenario, Jane has QuickBooks installed as a single user only. In the old method, she can store a company file on her own machine or on a company file server. With the new database, if she has a file on a PC, then there's no change. However, if she stores a company file on the file server, she must now install the QuickBooks database server and QuickBooks 2008-2009 on that file server where the company file is located. This is not required to install QuickBooks on the server, but will ensure that you get the fastest and most reliable access to the company file. Installing QuickBooks on the file server does not require activation. The second setup I'm going to run through is the client server network. In this setup, we have the QuickBooks company file on a dedicated server and two users, Jane and Tom, accessing the company file over a network. With the new system, you need to install the QuickBooks database server manager on the company server where your QuickBooks company file is located. In addition, you need to install QuickBooks. And the third way I'm going to talk about is the peer-to-peer -peer network. In this fair setup, we have the QuickBooks company file on a shared drive on Sarah's machine. And there are three users accessing this, accessing this company file over a peer-to-peer -peer network or work group. For this setup, QuickBooks needs to be installed on each machine. In addition, on the machines that have a company file on it, that is shared with other users, you need to install the QuickBooks Database Server Manager. So what's involved with setting up a QuickBooks data file server? If you or more than one person is using a company file, setting up a machine specifically for that makes a lot of sense. And having that one in one location for all your company files or files makes it easier to find files, easier to back up and protect your company data. The first step is to select the right machine. You should choose a machine that you know is reliable, is located on the network, and is in a safe location and has a good system specification. Once you've chosen a machine, you need to set up a shared folder to store your company files in. You also may want to create a separate folder to store your backups in. Next, to do that, select Properties, then Security, and manage the permissions for the users who want to access that folder and its contents. I'm going to create a new folder on C drive, which I'm going to call QuickBooks Data. And then all I do need to do is um, select that folder, right click, and click on the share option here. And this is where I can choose which users on my work group or which 
users within my network who I want to um, have access to this folder. So in this instance, I'm going to select everyone. And then I can just click on share and it will configure that folder now to share with the rest of my work group users. Next, place the company files into that folder. Step three in the process is to install the QuickBooks database server manager on the machine that you've chosen. So to in install the QuickBooks data server manager, insert your QuickBooks CD into your CD drive and select the begin process. Now in this one I want to install and begin. Type in your license key number and press next to begin the installation. Now you need to decide whether you're going to be running QuickBooks, um, the QuickBooks database manager only on this machine. Alternatively, if you're going to be installing QuickBooks as well, um, those are the different options that you decide here. <clears throat> in this instance, I'm just going to select install the QuickBooks company file server only, which installs the QuickBooks database server manager. And we click install now.